time. The first train of every year is usually heavy. So make sure everywhere is securely locked. And bring in anything that could be spoiled by the ring. It's okay, Your Highness. wash away our frailties and make us bold and worthy of your sight. May this brain bring your blessing upon each and every one of us, especially her majesty. She may be highly autocratic and never let go of our opinion. She still treats us like her princess. Have you packed the clothes at the backyard? Yes, my friends. We packed it. Let me leave. Mother, I don't like this kind of assumption. I don't like it. I, I am not agreeing with you. I'm telling you the truth. Listen, before you bring disgrace to this family, you must marry the girl I painstakingly found and sorted out for you. This, this, this is laughable, mother. I mean, we've gone through this issue over and over again, and times to that number, I've told you that you can't find a wife for me. It's not like a well-groomed girl, I... with blue blood for that matter. I've even gone a step ahead uh, by discussing with her parents, and they're disposed to the idea that both of you should get married. Mother, this is 2011. That kind of a thing happened in your era. What's going to happen here? What I'm ready to for a wife, I will bring the girl I intend to marry for your blessings and for father's blessings. What if I, I, I don't need my blessings? <laughs> my father, the king, would give me his blessings, even if your blessing is nowhere to be found. Yes, mother. Your stubbornness has blinded you to the fact that Stella will make a good wife for you. But you know what? I am going to cure you of that. Okay? What is all this? That dream is an indication of something unpleasant. But be rest assured, Your Majesty, 
Whatever it is must pass through me before touching any member of this family. I know. That's very good. I know I can always rely on you. That was why I had to call you as soon as I woke up. That is not far from the truth. You can always count on me. I know. One more thing. I think it's about time my son got married. And I want him to get married to a princess that I already prepared for him. Hmm. Your Majesty, this is one issue that always brings problems in the family. The way you said it tells me that your son is not happy with that decision. He neither needs to be sad nor happy. All he needs to do is do as I said. In my opinion, Your Majesty, allow him to make his choice. I do not pay you for your opinion. I pay you to work for me. I needed to blind my son to all those girls outside of this palace. And you need to do it fast. Because I intend to keep him in this palace incommunicado. As you wish, Your Majesty. That's it. It's as simple as that. Are you idiots deaf? Even if you are deaf, can't you see that I want to go out? Dennis, are you insane? Now get this gate open and let me leave. Your Highness, I can't. What did you just say? Are you mad? Ah! ah! Your Majesty ordered us not to open the gate for you. Now, will you all open this gate right now before I decapitate the whole of you? If you are looking for who to decapitate, then I'm available. I give them orders not to let you out of this compound till further notice. Your father's managers can do well without you at the company. Mother. Guys, thank you. Yes. Well done. Be as brief as I can. I've really not treated any one of you badly in this palace, have I? No, Your no, Majesty. But the devil in me will manifest on anyone who fails to carry out instructions I dish out in this palace to the letter. My son, the prince, is still not permitted to have visitors, both boys, girls, visiting in this palace. Flout this instruction and I will personally skin you alive. You want to dare me? Mm. I hope not. By the way, where is Okwama? I'll punish you for not coming to me again last night. Her Majesty actually made sure I couldn't come by keeping me very Hush. busy. Hush. Enough of your excuses. It's time I keep you busy. My Prince, it's early in the morning and I still have work to do. Which includes taking care of my room and of course me. Now will you get to work before I leave all you incompetent? Don't doubt my competence, my Prince. Oh yeah. Wait for me, I'll be sitting 
Well, no. I hope you have given what I told you serious thinking. Mother, there is nothing to think about. As a matter of fact, I'm in the middle of preparing a presentation before you came in. And that is in case you allow me to go out. Honestly, I don't understand this sudden change. I have told you to forget about this issue. How can you say I should forget about it? My dear, I'm concerned. I'm concerned because I don't want to be caught in the middle of war between mother and son. Whether it's a war or not, that's an order from your employer. And the best you can do is to obey it. Okay, wait, let me ask you. What happens if you run into any of the prince's friends and you say they want to come in? What will you do? I will leave. That's not much of your problem. The girls are in the middle of what you've just called war between mother and son. Just pray that you won't be the one to turn any of his friends. Axel. Hello? Just a moment. I want to drum it into your ears that this will be the last time I will ever call for a gathering and you will be missing. I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. My instruction is that on no account should anybody be allowed to see my son until I say otherwise. Yes, Your Majesty. You are dismissed. actually working on a very difficult and sensitive subject on my laptop. Why my mother came in with unusual troubles and scattered my train of thoughts. I don't understand. What have I got to do with that? Well, I knew you're not a genius, obviously, but I was hoping you could help me gather my train of thoughts together. Something like what? Oh, come on, Abby. Do not make a lecture out of me. Why don't you help me gather my intellectual resources? Well... He came to me and said, You, what are you doing here? And my husband. <laughs> 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 uh -uh. Obeva, what's the problem? Why are you looking at us like that? Were you girls not there when Her Majesty asked us not to let the prince have any visitors? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you ignorant of the facts? that the visitors she meant were girls, and what the girls could be doing with the prince. Mm -hmm. Please come <clears throat> with me. Seriously, come and see what the prince is doing with our lady. Obi, Ma, stop it. Don't even say that. I mean, you know as much as I do, that if this gets into Nikki's ear, even the queen, the queen will act upon it immediately, so don't. Mm -hmm. What is the prince doing with our lady, please? Is it not obvious? They were making love. I just finished cleaning the room next to the prince's room and I heard them whispering some sweet nonsense to themselves. I couldn't help but pee. Huh. I'll go there and I'll distract them. I'll pretend it's my turn to clean the room. Hey, 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 madam, stop there. Don't even do any of that. What's wrong with you? I, I know that even you, said you standing here, you have the soft spot for the prince. You do. Who? Okwoma. 
Grande forme papier Woman, are you are you sure of what you just told me? You think I'm joking? Eh? Ugwama. I'm just coming out from their room. Their clothes were thrown all over the whole place. I stood there. They're even having a hot bath. Hey! I stood there, but when the money cut too much, I had to barge into them. Enough! Enough! Of this particular one. What is the problem, Mother? Hey, Ubenna. Yes, Mother. Tell me the truth. Did you sleep with her, Willie? Come on, Mom. I know you're getting seriously inclined to making jokes of serious issues, but how could you think that I slept with her? The sense of law to sleep with her. Yeah. Whose name did you just mention? Oh, come on, mother. I'd say it's Chris. Your Highness. You must be a fool of the most the best order for laying your hands on a woman. You have no reason whatsoever for beating her up like a common thief. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Now that you're sorry, what happens to her pains? The disgrace you made her go through. I promise you, you are going to pay dearly for every single blow you dealt her with when I'm ready for your punishment. Now, get out of my sight. Thank you, Majesty. And you, for allowing yourself to, to sleep with my son, I no longer need your services as a maid in this palace. <gasps> oh, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, you can suck me. No, I have no one else to turn to, Your Majesty. Now you know you have no one to run to. <clears throat> now listen, Chris said he beat you up because you insulted him. Tell me the truth. Did you sleep with my son? <laughs> honestly, honestly. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Sorry, Your Highness. I, I shouldn't have let my anger get the better part of me. I shouldn't have laid a finger on her. I'm honestly sorry. Now you listen to me. The next time you lay a finger on that girl, I'll have your skin decorated in a room of furnish for her. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Your Highness.
Get out! Now listen. The same punishment applies to whenever you beat any other maid in this palace. Do you hear me? Yes, Your Highness. I understood. Yes, and thank you. Now get this flea bag out of my sight. like to hurt me. Of course you know I don't have it in me to hurt you. Nandi, what is the meaning of all this? What is the meaning of what? Stay away from Anita! Stay away from Nandi! 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 <laughs> well, I understand what you mean. But do you mean you do not like the way I live my life? Not at all, Your Highness. Good. Now, I want you to do everything possible to make Kyra look my way. What? What's that? Do you have a problem with that? I don't think so. If you don't think so? Or you do not have a problem with my interest in her? I don't have any problem with that. Good. Now all I'm saying is that she seems so untouchable. That's what I'm trying to say. There must be something about her to break down her defense. Now I want you to work on that tonight. And I want results. I want results tonight. Thank you, Your Highness. I just don't know why you look as well as disturbing like this. I want to know, between Eluka and Namdi, whom do you prefer? Naturally. It's Namdi. Mm. <laughs> so if you prefer them, why is Eluka always disturbing you? I don't know. I've told him in the plain language he would understand, but he wouldn't. Rather, he would always want to pest me. So, he's not a pest. What's that one? Hello, ladies. Kyra, please, can I see your side for a moment? What, please? He wants to use and dump you the way he has been using and dumping the other maidens in this palace. Why are you telling me this instead of what he expects you to tell me? You're unique and my words cannot explain. I believe if I have an opportunity like this to tell you. Are you exactly sure about the reason why you wanted to see me? Yes, I am. I have come to let you know that you should never give in. The prince. Dennis. I love you. Serious, Your Highness. 
I don't have a boyfriend and I don't intend to have one. No, no, no. I'm not asking you to have one. All I'm trying to explain to you is the imprudence of not having me as one. Well, you see, my dear, the problem I have with my mother is on who to get married to. Your Highness, I don't... But what you need to understand is that each time I look at you, I see my wife. You're worth more than ten princesses. I don't want to be your wife, sir. I am a servant here, Your Highness. And I will only serve you here in that capacity. So you mean, after considering the benefits of being my wife, you're willing not to become the next queen of a Lolo kingdom? <music> Out. I think it's in an Luka. Go and tell them to keep it quiet. Yes, you just <coughs> There's no need lying about it. I walked into this room and I saw clothes thrown all over this whole place. Listen to me. I can never be a second best. Point taken. May I leave now? So it was you who told my mom I slept with Aweli? I don't have time telling tales to the Queen. May I leave now, Your Highness? Yeah, 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 yeah. What you do, be careful how you live before you lose what you got. Young man, be careful what you do, be careful how you live before you lose what you got. I asked you to do a simple tax for me, and you messed it all up. What are you talking about, Your Majesty? I told you that my son has eyes for women, that you should blind him to every other woman outside there except the one I'll choose for him. And I did exactly what you asked me to do. Why do I keep getting this report that my son sleeps with all the maids in this compound? Well, Your Majesty, you didn't include them. You only talked about the women out there. Goodness gracious. What a waste of my precious time and resources. Actually, it is not a total waste. There is always a way. Then do what you have to do and do it fast. <laughs> The only thing good about this morning is when I realize I can still cure you of your desire for women. What is it this morning, Mother? Did they instruct you to spoil my money? If you don't desist from sneaking those stupid girls into your room, then you know that death is not far from you. Mother. I deserve to enjoy my meal, please. The fact that your father's duties now keep him longer in the village does not give you the excuse to portray me as a mother who can't take care of an only child. Some women raise 10 children comfortably. You will not disgrace me, you cannot. Fine, fine mother, but don't you think it's a little bit too late to put reins on me? I mean, take 
take a look at me and you'll see the exact man you wanted me to be. Mm -mm. Yes? No. Okay. You have changed into what I can't even wish my enemy. Change your ways, Abel Bell. Change. Yes. That is the word. From what, mother? From my old ways. Mother, the ways you had always taught me. And who's going to change me? You? Or, or father who is, who is caught between taking care of his, of his people in a village as a king and, and, and caught back here at home living in the city? Who's going to do that, mother? You have always allowed me to do things my way. So just, just leave with me, mother. Mother, I'm eating. Would you please? Okay. You can have it. So, if you have the old grace, so why don't you search for the right one? Hey, Loka. Hi, Prince. You have to take over from Dennis with immediate effect. And I'll hold you accountable for any shortcomings from the responsibilities of the chief guard. Thank <laughs> you.